What up? is turn on the lights. I have not opened in a very long time. Okay, next I take all the lids off this ice cream. I'll show you guys all of the flavors when I'm done doing this. So next I take the crate full of all the lids and then I go wash it in the back. Bro, oh my god. I was gonna like talk to you guys while I opened and like show you guys what I do But literally while I was opening I was not even close to being done Like I was literally just like yeah. washing the lids like someone came to order and then after that there was like another person waiting while that person ordered Okay, now now I can finally speak to you guys. Hello. Hi. My name is Chloe. Um, that's not my intro Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, as you saw from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys what it's like to work at an ice cream shop all by yourself too. So today's Wednesday and I actually don't usually work on the weekdays. I usually work on Saturday, but I'm busy this coming Saturday, so I can't work. So I'm working a weekday instead. And usually Saturdays are double shifts. So two people work one shift and on weekdays, it's usually just one person. So yeah, that's why I'm here all by myself today. If you watch one of my previous videos, you would know that I used to work at Hagen dazs um, I don't work there anymore. Anymore. I could work there. I just kind of choose not to. I yes, dropped hot dogs for a new ice cream place. As I was saying earlier, I wanted to show you guys all of the ice cream flavors we have today. Let me give you guys a little tour of what it looks like in the ice cream shop. Here's the main freezers, our cups. Over here is milkshakes and toppings. There's some like more stuff over there. There's another freezer over there. That's pretty much it, honestly. This flavor is cannoli, I believe. Yeah, this is cannoli. Are you kidding me? I think someone's. I'm gonna kill myself. Someone's parallel parking right in front of the store, so I'm assuming I have a customer now, so I'll be right back. As I was saying, so the ice cream flavors that are in white tubs are homemade, and then the ones that are like this, they're imported. So here we have cannoli, this is vanilla, vanilla fudge, birthday cake, peanut butter chocolate. I think this is espresso, because there's like, I could see the coffee beans. This is orange blossom, but I kind of just call it creamsicle. Peanut butter, cookies and cream. I'm assuming this is some sort of chocolate nut. Brownie, cookies and cream, strawberry, mint chocolate chip, salted caramel, cotton candy. I want to say vanilla fudge brownie, moose track. Salted caramel, no, banana foster. This is like a banana and caramel flavor. Freaking love that one. Pistachio, Lil Boo Panda, which I'm gonna go into a Lil Boo Panda analysis later. Chocolate is here, but I'm letting it sit out because it was so hard. Rum raisin, banana, I've never tried that one before. Coconut, and this is, I think, just plain coffee. And then we have some more flavors at this other freezer. This is banana brownie, I've never tried that either. Ooh, we should try that. Some of these are also just repeats from what's in the freezer, like to replace. Yeah, actually, pretty much all of these are just repeats of what's in the freezer. A lot of this job just consists of waiting for people to come. Well, it depends on the day. This is kind of random, but I'm Catholic and we have this like event called Lent in which usually you give up something. So what I did was I gave up like desserts and like sugary type stuff. So stuff like ice cream, like cookies, like all that kind of like junky type of sugar. So I haven't had ice cream in a very long time. My favorite flavors here are Lil Boo Panda. It's such a weird flavor, but it's so good and I don't know how to explain it. Okay. So so, Lil Boo Panda. Some people think it's just like a blue cookies and cream, but it's not. There's a whole different flavor to it than just plain cookies and cream. Why do I keep doing this with my hand? I looked it up and apparently it's sugar cookie flavored. I don't know, but it's so good. I really like Banana Foster, Cotton Candy. You know what we should do? Let's just sample every flavor. I'm bored, why not? I have not tried. I've tried cannoli. Uh, vanilla is like vanilla. I've never had birthday cake. Okay, I've had birthday cake obviously, but I've never had this birthday cake before. And what is this? Vanilla, I think this is vanilla fudge brownie. I haven't had that either. This is vanilla fudge brownie. That's good. It's pretty much just vanilla and chocolate. Birthday cake. I've never really been like a birthday cake person. Birthday cake was always kind of mid to me. Like I would eat it, but like it's not my favorite. But like this is pretty good actually. I'm gonna try peanut butter cookies and cream. I actually really like that. This is banana foster, one of my like all time favorites. I got like I got a scoop of peanut butter, cookies and cream, and then also a scoop of loose tracks. I have not been doing a very good job filming. It is now 5.30. Like every time I have a customer, I literally forget to film. I was literally like asking someone what they wanted to order and then my Panera delivery like came. My delivery guy, he literally just like walked in between me and like the customer. It, it was funny like in the moment. So like if you're ever hungry here, you literally could just order food to come here or you could bring your own food. Some of my friends I think are gonna come stop by because I'm working alone. So they're gonna come mooch off of that. Oh my gosh, let me show you guys what I brought. Here's like my bag. I brought my computer. 
here. I literally brought my SAT practice book. Why do I feel so, I feel so wrong right now. Like everything feels wrong to me at the moment. This is Song of the Week. Paparazzi by Lady Gaga is Song of the Week. But I won't stop until the It's Rochelle. Bro. A lot of kids like Lil Blue Panda. It's good. You know what? I'm giving you a sample of it. Not so bad if I can't get them by virtually I have birthday. Okay, so I'm gonna make Rochelle one scoop of birthday cake and one scoop of vanilla fudge. I don't know. You this cake is dumb. I know. <laughs> the scoops are gigantic. Okay, now I have like a real customer and she asked for two small cups with vanilla. Embarrassed when I have to like take out an ice cream. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm about to eat. I'm hungry. It's 7 30 and I close at 9, so I have an hour and a half left. And I literally had my salad, like, I got it two hours ago. I'm gonna eat my salad and I'm probably gonna do a QA. Why not? I feel like this whole video, I feel like I'm like just talking. I feel like I should be doing more stuff, but I genuinely like keep forgetting to film when a customer comes. But a customer is probably gonna come like in the middle of this little QA section. Have you ever met someone famous? I have. I've met Why Don't We? Literally like like five times. Yeah, I've met Love and I met New Hope Club. I don't know if I've met anyone else, but those are the ones I remember like off the top of my head. And those were all like in 2019. What is your favorite drink? Water. I love water. Like truly, I love water. But other than water, I like raspberry iced tea, lemonade, half tea, half lemonade. I don't like any sodas. I just don't like carbonated drinks. Would you rather have the perfect job or the perfect relationship? I'd rather have the perfect relationship because I want to marry a rich man, so therefore I wouldn't need to work. I can't tell if this is a joke or not. Guess we'll never know. No, but actually, like my genuine goal in life, like yes, being successful is like good and stuff, but I genuinely want to fall in love and like to find love and okay this sounds sad but like i genuinely want to like find my like soulmate be married and love someone unconditionally like that is genuinely that is my life goal to fall in love unconditionally oh there's the customer hi how can i help you okay don't worry take your time Take a small coconut with whipped cream and sprinkles. Rainbow or chocolate sprinkles? Uh, rainbow sprinkles? Yeah, the cherry. Okay. okay. I have to make a small cup. I already forgot. Coconut. I have to make a small cup of coconut with shoe. What do you say again? Rainbow sprinkles and a cherry. Wait, did you say rainbow sprinkles? I know he said whipped cream and possibly a cherry. Pretty. Hi, how can I help you? Small strawberry in the cup mm -hmm. and a small cookie dough in the cup. We're out of cookie dough, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have that. Okay, well, if there's smells? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'll be back. Why did I say <laughs> you? I'm gonna kill my. This guy also asked for a large birthday cake. are like very big and then he just asked for a large little blue panda we're kind of like low on little blue panda so i'm gonna take it out oh wait i think this is cool actually My favorite thing is putting people on to certain flavors. So this guy came in and he asked for a banana, like plain banana. This banana. Not as good as Banana Foster, which is the one with caramel and all of it. So the guy asked me, he asked for banana, but also I remember the banana is not as soft as Banana Foster. So I was like, do you want to try Banana Foster? Like I think it tastes much better than like plain banana. But in my head, I kind of had malicious intent because I didn't want to scoop banana. Yes, <laughs> sir. Yes. And also Banana Foster is so much better than plain banana. So both me and that guy won. Okay, so a family just came by and I hate my life, but not because I have to make their order, but because they're such a happy family. I want that. I'm giving off the wrong impression here. My family is very happy, which I'm very grateful for, but I meant like in the future when I have my own family. And like the husband's dynamic with his kids are so cute and I hate my life. And also it's the little girl's birthday too. So I'm going to give her like a cup of ice cream for free because it's her birthday. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Happy birthday. The feminine urge to settle down. You ever just like want to be married? Because like same. I 
I did like all like the physical stuff like the lids wiping stuff down the rest is just like financial stuff But I'm not gonna film that so yeah, I just finished closing and now I'm locking up Bro, I can't I can't never take there we go. Okay, and that's what it's like working at. Oh shoot I forgot to bring the sign in <gasps> No Now we're good there we go, make sure it's locked again. As I was saying, that's what it's like working at an ice cream shop all by yourself. Um, that takes us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, peace out, bye-bye. I'm gonna cover the camera with my bag. Play it back, play it back.